Hi, this is David Shedd from easternslopes.com and today we're going to talk about the correct way to put a tent away when you're done after a trip and be ready for your next trip so that when you get out in the woods you don't have any hitches whatsoever. So the first thing is, of course, when you finish a trip, take your tent out, do the same thing with your sleeping bag, pads, all of that, but take your tent out, lay it out, make sure it's dry, check zippers, check everything, just make sure everything is still working and that there's no problems that happen when you took it down. Once you've got it nice and dry and you've taken it and flipped it and dumped out all the stuff that got inside the tent body while you were using it, then the next step is to make sure that everything that's on the tent is zipped up. Tents are designed to go up in a zipped up position so if you have things open, screens open, doors open, whatever like that, they won't go on tightly. When you try and put a rain fly on with the main zipper open, um, you'll get fly flopping all over the place rather than sitting neatly over the tent. And if it happens to be raining while you're setting the tent up, then you'll have that much more rain in rather than just taking this nice big balloon, dropping it over and turning it and getting it right. So zip it all up nice and tight. Same thing with the fly. Yeah, this one's unzipped. So it was unzipped when we took it down. This little, this particular tent has a, uh, has a vent and um, want to just make sure that's closed down as well. And find the zipper. There we go. So now that you're ready like that and you've gotten your poles back in their bag, Yes, take the poles out and dry them out too. Uh, typically I turn the bag inside out, get that dry. It just, it makes it that much less likely that you're going to have mold somewhere along the line and that's not fun for anybody, particularly when you get out there and your tent stinks. So, and yes, you can actually tie these up. I'll admit, I'm usually too lazy, I just stuff them in and that makes it easier to get them out later, but personal preference. So, the key is, what you're trying to do is set your tent up in the, in, the, um, in the stuff sack so that when you get out there, and we always look at worst case scenarios because it pretty much always seems like our trips turn out that way. So it's getting dark, you're late getting to your campsite, it's raining, it's cold. Of course, when it's raining, it's always windy. So you've got that nice 20 mile an hour wind that's gusting and blowing from 17 different directions so that no matter what you do, it's blowing the tent back in your face or something like that. So you think about what that's going to be like. And the first thing you stick into your, into your bag is your tent poles. Why? Because they need the whole length. Everything else can stuff around them, but they're a pain in the neck. If you, try and, if you already put in your fly and put in your body and then try and stuff these things in, particularly with somebody's, a lot of manufacturers make these bags very tight, uh, it's just miserable. So put the poles in first, then grabbing the opposite side from the poles so that you get that nice big opening, make it easy. Put your fly in first. Why do you put your fly in first? Pretty simple. It's the last thing that you're going to use when you set the tent up. In an ideal world, again, You'll get out there and in miserable conditions, you take things out of the tent, out of the stuff sack exactly when you need them. So stuff in your tent fly, then stuff in your tent body. Now you might be thinking right now, uh, but then you're gonna have those long stakes. They're gonna be a pain to put in because you'd have to slide them along. You're right. It would be easier to stick the stakes in now, but think about this for a second. You get your tent nicely tucked away in here. Then you get your stakes and you toss those in. These are relatively short, fairly easy. And again, this is a, 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 a REO, uh, sorry, REI Quarter Dome 1 and REI tends to give us nice, really, really decent sized stuff sacks so we don't have to stuff things too tight, which is wonderful. So now you're out in the woods. Horrible weather, horrible conditions, you're tired, you're miserable, you want your tent up, that's all you care about. And you really don't want your tent to end up somewhere over an embankment, somewhere where you're chasing it, in the dark, in the rain, all that. So the first thing you take out is the stakes. 
and you reach into that, st into that steak bag. And if you know your tent, you know how many steaks you need to get the basic steak out done. In the case of this, you can do it with three, but five is actually better. So I'm going to take five steaks out and I'm going to stick the others back in. I'm going to stick those in my pocket. I'm not going to sit down now. Might be a little uncomfortable. I'm going to stick the rest of them into another pocket. So now I've got all my steaks exactly where I need them. Now, when I pull this tent out, I can hang on to it really tightly. When I put this down, you've got weight. You've got the tent poles, you've got the, the um, rain fly. If the conditions are bad enough that the wind can take this away, you probably shouldn't be out there. I'm not going to be out there. I'm headed home. Then, making sure you hang on very well to that tent body because the wind is blowing it all over the place, you figure out what's what. And I want the head of my tent here, and there's the head of my tent. And I stick a knee on it. And I reach in and I grab, in this case, two stakes. Again, I know the tent. And pop one in, pop the other one in. Now the wind's blowing and taking it around, but it's connected. If it's really bad out there, I'll actually walk on the tent body. I try to avoid doing that because it's a good way to, to um, uh, you know, make cuts from underneath and things like that. But when the conditions are bad enough and it's flopping and you get the worry that that's going to get picked up and possibly pull it right off your stakes, walk on it. And then with this one, it's third one, fourth one, and fifth one. And that's it. It's now set up. It's pinned down. That took almost no time. I took no risks of losing my tent. And of course, that with the zipper all set up and all of that, it's nice, it's clean, it's easy. As soon as I pull those poles out, I'm going to be able to get this thing set up very quickly. If I have some adjustments, I didn't make this really, really tight where these were. They're up reasonably tight, but there's room to play. So I'll be able to get it set up. Um, but I can make adjustments later. The basics have already been done. The tent is secured and it's easy to set up. So the key to getting it set up easily was having it in the stuff sack in the right manner, right uh, order of, of parts, so that I could just reach in there and grab what I needed. Um, certainly recommend you actually try this at home and practice it. Set your tent up. Set your tent up in the dark. Set your tent up blindfolded. That sounds silly, but if you're going to, it, and again, this depends an awful lot on who you are and what type of camping you do, but if you're the type of person who's going to push the limits and going to go out where it's going to be cold and snowy and windy and rainy and all of those things, the more you can make it automatic, the more you're going to feel confident. And that feeling of confidence and knowing that you're safe and knowing that you're secure is probably more important than being able to do something because when you're calm, if something goes wrong, it's easy to catch it, it's easy to fix it. When you're all haired up and worried and, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, that's when you start to do silly things. So again, really simple. When you're putting your tent away, after drawing it out, put the tent poles in first, then slide the rain fly along, the tent poles down to the bottom, then slide the body in of the tent into the bag above that, and then put the stakes in. Zip it all up and take it with you, and you're ready to go. So that's how we do it at easternslopes.com. Hope it's helpful for you, and hope it gets you out there more. We'll see you out there.